Uh, hi. Um, here's another faceless video uh, featuring the wonderful Quad Cortex. And this time, I, um, I think I've really stumbled onto one of the sounds I really have been looking for for ages. And uh, I want to thank Jonathan um, uh, for uh, putting this one up. It's uh, his rendition of a Dumbo, but by way of a two rock amplifier, a TS1 uh, two rock. And he made it a stereo image of it. Um, but I really love, uh, and, and you'll see what I'm talking about when I start playing is the um it's got a clean sound but it's mixed in with a really nice beautiful leady fuzzy uh gorgeous you know it's it's the it's it's the lead channel of the two rock so let's take a look and see what we get out of it okay so i'm gonna go up like let's go maybe Oh, no, I'm sorry. That was actually my middle. Um, here's, here's the neck. I'm going to dial back the tone. Okay. So that's the neck pickup. Tone dial down, right? Um... Actually, let's even just dial down the volume a little bit and see what we get if we go a little lighter. vibe uh, going off off of that you know um, and you can see that it really cleans up it cleans up well so uh, one of the things I noticed with uh, Jonathan's um, video to actually showed me this wonderful um, cloud capture that uh, he was presenting uh, was the ability uh, oh, how do I want to say this? Um, uh, oh, God, I, I, I don't know how to exactly say, but it was the, uh, uh, the smooth, the smoothness of it and its response to a guitar. So it really kind of depends on your guitar and even the guitar kind. So I tried this out with a uh, Strat versus right now I'm playing on my Schecter. Uh, but you, the Schecter is really pretty much, might as well be Les Paul pickups. Um, and so that's what I'm trying it out as because uh, if you look at my amplifiers that I have, I'm using his 2-Rock TS-1 Les Paul lead. Okay, so that's that's what I got them set. And my gain and my volume is virtually matched. So I'm just at the uh, place of, um, of um, breakup. So, so let's say, here's something I was uh, curious about. Let's try this. Let's say I take this gain down, right? Bring up its volume. Okay, not a huge amount, but uh, about like that. Whatever I trimmed off, let's boost, okay? And let's go with that. And what I want to see is, because I'm doing dual, I have an amp down here, I have an amp down here that's that same thing that we had before, 
Uh, okay, so let's push the rock. Let's push the gain on that one ahead. Okay. Let's not go too crazy. Let's go like that, and then we'll just kind of take its volume down a hair just to make up the difference, right? Now let's see what we get. what I was wondering is I can I actually kind of like you know create one thing is really clean and then the other thing is really kind of fattening it out you know and depending on how you actually attack the guitar it really makes all the big difference you know so yeah so I'm satisfied uh, if you really want to find this uh, on the cloud cortex, then look up, um, oh, what's his name? Jonathan uh, Nady uh, Cordy. Jonathan Na Nady Cordy. Jonathan Nady Cordy. Um, and he has, uh, it, it, look up the TS1 cloud captures that he has uh, posted. I put all six up. I haven't really done much. I just wanted to go right for that Les Paul one because that was the sound I wanted. So I'm really uh, pleased and happy with that. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds fine. And, oh, let me show you this. I'm in stomp modes, right? So if I put this on... So it can really crank when you throw on the uh, the overdrives. Uh, let me see. This overdrive here was a Chief. I, I like that Chief. I've used that a lot. Uh, and this one was a uh, Exotic Z Boost, and I've used that one before too. So two. Um, so at least we're both on the same page as far as the overdrives. Um, and I also duplicated this entire thing again in 22A as his original one where he actually did it with some basement, a tweed basement uh, setup profile there. All right, if you want to hear that, let's do it. Okay, so let, no, I'm sorry, I went the wrong way. Uh, yeah, here we go. Let's go. That was my, my 
my bridge pickup. Um, so again, once again, you know, it's just really insane what you can get out of this. <laughs> So great fun, lots of fun, nothing like the neural DSP quad cortex. And uh, if you check out uh, Jonathan's uh, video, uh, you can see the capture versus the amplifier, and it's absolutely amazing. I, I really, my ear can't detect a difference. Uh, he, he actually did slightly feel like it was a little bit different but uh, very slightly and he, he wasn't at all displeased with what the capture came out like and I wasn't either so <laughs> there it is um, so it's the um, if you're looking for it look up oh I'm sorry I'm, uh, well that's the original one that I seen him do was the US Tweed bass Okay, and you know, he kept everything pretty pretty straightforward on those, right? But uh, let's go back, let's go to the 21H. And here, it's the Two Rock TS1 Les Paul lead. It's a capture, so you have to go out and look for it in captures. And I'm sorry about the noise. I gotta get some. I gotta introduce some uh, noise gates into here, so that would be something I'm I'm gonna need to do. Um, yeah, it's a doable thing, um, but I'm very pleased with the uh, with what my search is over. I found finally found that sound I was looking for, and I'm very very happy. Thank you. Quad Cortex. Thank you, Jonathan, for putting it up in the cloud.